Last election cycle, all eyes were on District 8 after candidate David Andal died from COVID-19 after his name was printed on the ballot, but before voters elected him. That prompted controversy over who could fill the seat. Ultimately, the state Supreme Court decided the District 8 party could pick. They chose Representative Jeff Delzer, who is now drawn out of his district through the once a decade redistricting process. The new District 8 now has a few Republican candidates vying for spots in the assembly. Here's a look at those running. Representative Dave Naring is now running for the Senate after winning a House seat in 2020. And I thought maybe it'd be a nice opportunity to, to uh, try for the Senate seat and, and see if I can have um, an opportunity to, over there to forward some of the same causes. If elected, Naring says he plans to prioritize legislation related to energy policy and rural economic development. But we need to also look at diversifying our, our traditional energy sources. I, I think there's going to be additional uses for um, petrochem, oil, coal. Naring lives in rural Burley County and runs Habitat Unlimited, a company that works with the agriculture sector. He says he's prepared for the changing district lines and the new constituents that brings. Emmons County, I'm, I'm anxious to meet the folks there. On, on the other hand, I'm, I'm uh, sad to, to see a lot of our support that was in McLean County go away. On the House side, two newcomers are throwing their hats in the ring. Mike Berg is an engineer from Hedinger who says his background will be helpful with infrastructure issues. Um, as an engineer, I work with a lot of uh, infrastructure, roads, water, electrical systems. And, you know, here in North Dakota, roads and transportation is really the backbone of our economy. Being able to move goods and people freely and efficiently, that's what makes our, our uh, state work. Berg says he'll also prioritize workforce development. He currently works at Apex Engineering Group, which he co-founded in 2010. Scott McCarthy is running for the House, too. He's a business owner and technology consultant who hopes to bring that expertise to the legislature to make government more efficient. The cyber landscape is changing quite a bit with cyber threats, cyber attacks, and it's just changing how we do business. You know, obviously COVID made a lot of us work from home, which exposed a lot more people to technology that previously maybe were not exposed. And so I think that's going to be probably a catalyst of legislation that comes up. McCarthy has lived in Bismarck for 20 years, but says he understands rural issues too. If elected, he says he hopes to implement his philosophy of government to help North Dakota. I like to look at government as an extension of business. And um, what I hope to do is make the government operate that way. And what I mean by that is uh, us as taxpayers, us, us as residents, are consumers of that business and that government agencies and those government agencies. So. I like to bring that type of model, that small government, efficient uh, government to the taxpayers of North Dakota. North Dakota's primary election is June 14th. In total, 99 seats are up for grabs this year. And on the federal level, one of our U.S. senators is up for re-election. That's Senator John Hoven. The general election is November 8th.